Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. We're the very funny guy. Please welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, comedian Basil. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. What a wonderful treat. And I heard it is hug your favorite personality. Is that what it is? Uh, hug a favorite news anchor day. News anchor where are you, day. Where are you going with I, this, Basil? I, I, just, I just want to say I, I love you so much. But ah! <laughs> Let me tell you, that I love like this, you, you can't get anywhere else but this station. Now, like that. That, yeah, Basil, was it good? That was, was a wet one, man. It was a wet one. Like, I, I specialized. A wet one. I kind of like it. We Feels appreciate like that. Absolutely. Thank you for shaving. Uh, yeah, not a problem. I did the best I could. Went through three sets of razors, but I got it done. It was all right. Well, that was very nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm a that, it, So everybody comes to your show tonight and the next weekend, they're all going to get a kiss? Thanks. Yeah, the boys in Cell Block C love you. Let's just say that. <laughs> well, nice. welcome back to the area. Good to be back. It's always good to be here. I mean, Funny Bone is a great kid, and you got nice weather for a good show. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. This is nice. You know, last time you guys had snowstorms and nice. ice storms. It's been unbelievable. Yeah. And, and there's nothing funny than Southerners on the snow and ice. Yeah, mm -hmm. an inch of snow. I know I can do it. I knew. I know I can do it. I can do it because I'll be four-wheeling up and down the sand and everything. It's going to be fine. Same thing. And all of a sudden, they're like upside down. Right? In a ditch. Like everything but shuts down for like it, it less really than does. an inch of snow. But. It should. What now, where's home? It's L.A., right? Well, I live there. in Los Angeles. I live in New York. But I make my home in Wilmington, North Carolina. Wow! Really? Yeah, love it down there. I, I used to love live in Wrightsville Beach. Right down there, and I, I have a I have a summer place over at Carolina Beach, so oh, I love it wow. there. Carolina Beach, you know that city council at Carolina Beach. Yeah, yeah. one of a kind. <laughs> one of a kind. You have to go and experience. It. Just goes to prove money can buy you power. That's right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> disclaimer. Well, you just got back from what two and a half weeks in London. Two and a half weeks in London. I was over there in the UK. We wound up doing Birmingham, Leeds. We went over to Southampton, Liverpool, and of course London. A lot of fun down there, and I do my stand-up in Greek as well as in English, so that wow. was a combination of the two shows. So it was nice, and then we're trying to push the new TV show over to Sky Network. So huh? I was negotiating with them and selling the food products that we have as well. That's food products, tell us you're so much more than just a comedian. Baby. I, Love I it. am a plethora of talent. A media uh, mogul. <laughs> Besides kissing guys on television, <laughs> I actually wind up, um, we have our own food products. It's called um, Basil Foods, and we have Spice Up with Basil's Greek Seasonings. And we have five wonderful seasonings right now. We just got picked up by Cisco Foods, and we got picked up by PFG, which is Performance Food Group as well. And people can wow. get your, your products? They can go directly and find our little products over at basilfoods.com. That's B-A-S-I-L-E-F-O-O-D-S. -S it's com. only fitting that it was a, like a spice line. Well, my mother, you Rosemary, have a my a mother Rosemary kept pushing it all the time. <laughs> Time. My father Herb, I kept pushing it. They said you'll have a sage old time if you do this. My sister, who's a lunatic, Meg, she's a nut. She said to go ahead and do it, so we had no choice but to do it. Nutmeg. That's nice to throw Meg, <laughs> throw Meg the bone. You throw it. Meg the bone, if you will. Well, here you got your whole site. We got everything going up. I mean, so do you enjoy cooking? I mean, I actually it... love to cook. Yeah. I think you know what I want to do is to actually bring. The simplicity of Greek cuisine. Listen, there's the best festival that you guys have here, with all due respect to everything else, is the Greek festival that you have Definitely. here in Norfolk, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Everyone loves the Greek taste of food. Everyone loves the Greek flair of food. And, and it's beautiful, and it's so simplistic because I put everything in one bottle. I put the taste for chicken, one bottle. For pork, souvlaki, one bottle. We have one for steak with a garlicky, peppery taste to it, mm. one bottle. Wow. We have one for fish, one for Greek salad and vegetables. They're fantastic. And the thing is, I want to be able to bring this to everyone because food should be fun. Mm -hmm. It should be not complex and be serious. It should be, listen, if I could cook naked inside of my kitchen, I would. I want to have fun. I know that you know, <laughs> makes you. <laughs> Wait, let me get that mental What's picture. Yeah, got it. Right Unless you're Please. cooking bacon, then I say suggest. That's probably not a good idea. For God's sakes. Yeah. Well, Chris does so, that all the time. No, I don't. Hey, listen, so, I mean, so does it work well on, a, on breakfast items? <laughs> It does. Everything. It's food. <laughs> yes, He's like, how about a cereal? I'm sorry. It does. You <laughs> should hey, so what? Hey, so uh, growing up Greek in America, I mean, that what is that like? I, mean, I gotta tell on. you something. Some of the most unique situations. I, you know, it's kind of funny. The first thing I've learned is don't mix new technology with old Greeks. <laughs> My grandmother, God bless her, she's 99 years old. 99, and she calls me up. She goes, I want the brand new, and she calls it the Milo, the Milo phone. Now, Milo is Apple in Greek. <laughs> you want the Apple phone? Ne. I want the Apple phone. The five. You want the five? S. You want the five S app? Yes. I buy for it. I program it for it. Not a problem. Two days later, she calls me up from her home, and she goes, I have a problem with this cinema. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? <laughs> Every time I go, hello, I click. And I'm, hello, hello, click, click. I must tell you. Hello, click, click. I went to go, and I said, oh, my God, she's hanging up on people. 
I go and check out her phone. She has 150 pictures of her ear. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> oh, that's another great picture of your ear. This, oh, look how nice. So don't mix old Greeks with big technology. But, you know, the stories that we do when we do the Greek shows that I have is about taking a, a conservative European family, like a Greek family, in a wide open American society. And it's tremendously funny and it's great. And the new TV show that we just finished doing talks about that. And it takes place at a Greek restaurant called the Achilles Meal. And basically, uh, my character is the relationship between a father and a son. And we're very, very, very pleased with the outcome. And, and so is Comcast. Con we're congratulations pleased. with the show Thank and you. the line of spices. Thank you can get you. so much more of this tonight. Tomorrow and Sunday, you won't want to miss Basil at the Virginia Beach Funny Bone. For tickets and information, call 213-5555 or log on to funnybonecentral.com. He's going to stick around with us. We'll have some more fun with Basil in just a moment. And